All right, we are back. In a vampire lair. Open door. Stuff. Stuff I don't want. Lock terminal. Science skill of 75. Ah, oh, come on, they're vampires. What do they care if I raid the fridge? Seriously. I don't want your hammer. Sword cabinet. Wardrobe. Medicine kit. Desk. Empty desk, no less. Alright. Let's see what's down here. Requires key. going this way. Detected. I was gonna try my hand at pickpocketing, but I changed my mind. Alright, I gotta find Ian. While I'm thinking about it, I did get a password last time. There was a locked computer. Please don't take Ian away from us. Okay. I might have to, man. He doesn't belong here. This place is bad juju. There was a computer around here. I know there was. There Is that it? Rub code. Log on. Enter password now. Five laws of the family. First law. First law. Feast not on the flesh. Consume only blood. This is our strength. We do not eat the flesh of those we kill for food, only drink the blood, leave the body intact. Consumption of flesh is filthy and unclean. This action is what causes humans to treat us like animals. They're not going to like you for eating the blood much better, man. Second law, bear not the child. Welcome only the exile, this is our fate. Because we carry the stain of our past in our bodies, never let it pass to offspring who would in turn carry out foul actions beginning the cycle anew. The family must seek the wasteland for others of its kind in order to maintain itself. That is our fate. Feed not for pleasure, particularly for nourish. To nourish. This is our dignity. We will kill only the humans we are hungry and when we must defend ourselves. Never hunt for sport or pleasure. We do not prey on children, for they are not yet tainted by society's view of us. You yeah, kitty? Okay. The family will not tolerate murder. Fourth law. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only shadows. This is our refuge. Because we are creatures of the night... We must not set foot in daylight. We move silently across the ground, only under... What is it? I love you, but not while I'm recording. Uh, we move under. We move silently under, across the ground, only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the rising of the sun, we seek the embrace of the shadows, and never again gaze at its brilliance. The family seeks the dark Jesus. Is this... Goth kid poetry? The fifth law, kill not the kindred, slay only the enemy, this is our justice. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of the current leader. Ah, so there's a con contingency. Anyone disobeying this action, those heinous of crimes, will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our own inner demons cause us to fight amongst ourselves. We number in the few and cannot risk, ex risk extinction. Feeding grounds. Perilous times for the family. You must feed, but, only the, but the wasteland is a dangerous place. The only way to feed without massive loss of life is getting close to the human settlements. We must therefore use cunning and stealth to achieve our goals. No one is forcibly, no one is to forcibly enter any of their homes. We must keep actions civilized. The only thing keeping us from being the animals they claim us to be. I do not want an incident like this happening ever again. I was very clear we would not represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's Brahmin was an act that was unnecessary and potentially damaging to my work. I am dealing with a very delicate situation in this town. I will not have it undermined by the actions of revenge on humankind. Our time will come, I promise you. Sign Vance. Alright. So they're not total. Oh, if I take the burned book, I'm stealing. Oh yeah, what kind of horrible monster would steal your precious burned book? Oh, what do you know? There was another terminal. That's just exactly the same. Alright. Where are you hiding the Welcome kid? Welcome to the rest studio. Yes. Hello there, stranger. Hi. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. 
Hello, Holly. Are you a ship's computer? Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. I already read it. Feast? No. Yes. I already read it. Ian West. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. I have a gun. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. Maybe it will, or maybe it's just messing him up more. I think he needs to be with his real family. You just don't get it, do you? We are his real family, okay? No, you're not. It was good talking to you. Yeah, whatever. You're kind of a poo. Okay, I cannot take from that. Already been there. Got to locate some side passages downstairs. Or maybe one of these people is Ian, but he's in isolation, apparently. Is this isolation? This is not isolation. At least I'm not trapped. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to find this Ian kid. And I'm either going to rescue him or find out that he's a vampire, and if he is, I'm probably going to leave him here. What does that say? Merceti Station. Okay, I've walked in a big loop. Oh, I don't want to steal your precious, precious coffee mug. God forbid I steal your... Oh, come on! I can't even raid the trash bins! I mean, they're empty anyway, but... Man, these guys protect everything. Alright, there is nothing around here. I need to find the kid. Please don't take Ian away from us. Uh, I make no promises. You got the cash. I got the time. What are you implying? You knew here too. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Can I have a hug? Oh, wait. I don't understand your laws. I supposed to say something special when asked that. Okay, I'm supposed to talk to each of them and get their laws. Oh, right. The third law is feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. Whew, almost forgot it again. Ian West. I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Where is he? I have to Guess go. I'll see you. All right, I'm going to go talk to the probably prostitute. Please. In a minute. Hello. Help me understand your laws. Well, Vance makes each of us remember a rule. And when we all gather in the common area, we have to say it out loud. Kind of weird. So, my law is the fourth one. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. You know you're a freaking cult, right? I understand. You know you guys are a cult. C-U-L-T cult. Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. Yeah, I, I was right. When we all gather in the common area, Vance gives his speeches, and then we each have, like, a law to say. What's yours? Mine is, bear not the child, welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Kind of cool, huh? Aren't you kind of risking that by... You know what, Hi, I'm sweetie. very glad there is no option to try to avail of her services. That's one place I don't really want to go in a game. And some little thing in the back of my mind mentions, especially not with some slutty vampire prostitute who isn't even a real vampire. Alright, let's see if I understand your laws enough to find out where Ian is. You wish to speak to me again? I understand what you people are. Indeed. 
Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Kittens. You're vampires. Or at least you follow their fictual, fictitious, fic, the fictional traditions. You think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? I said tradition. Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. So you're the guy who printed the White Wolf books? You do this by teaching them their mythical beings? Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. Well, there was no option I to kiss your ass. I have their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I want his shoes. Then a part Letter. of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Cult! Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. You mean after he you ripped his parents? Me to allow or, me to or he did. To him while he decides what he wants to do. What happened Ian's to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Would he have turned into a feral ghoul? I find this hard to believe. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. He had a moment of weakness, and it was fatal. Literally, all he has left. No. I failed. It would not be right to just... Please. Well, I'm gonna find him anyway. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna find him, no matter what you do, or say, or... Come on, is he in this common area? Ow. Yup, radioactive water. All the water is radioactive. Ah, hates radioactive water. Hello? I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Breaking in... How can I break into the ham radio? Terminal locked. Contact administrator. Alright. I'm gonna need your key, buddy. How am I detected? No, seriously, how am I detected? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Going to find this kid. And I wish I had gone to the bathroom before I started recording. Because I'm starting to feel a little oogie. A little antsy, I mean. Gotta let sleepy vampire guy wake back up before I can possibly. Wait, I can't pick his pocket because his wife is always right there. Troubled, my darling. What's on your mind? I wonder if the family will really work. Sometimes, with all the troubles we have, it seems impossible to hold it together. Oh, come on now, Vance. 
You're doing what's best. Save. For these people. None of these are essential. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Or dead. You always have had a knack for making me feel... Can I try that again? You wish to speak to me again? I have a better understanding of the family. I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. Not my there style. My fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. That's me. Very well. I will allow you to speak to him. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. His greatest enemy is King Bowser. Thank you very much. You are free enemy to roam is... the common area of our home as our guest. Enemy of us all. Alright, I now have the password to that locked off terminal. All I had to do was talk to him over and over again. You know, this is probably the easiest time I've ever had in a video game where I entered and had to deal with uh, a vampire clan. Unlock security door. I don't know if I want to do either of those other things. Huh? How do hey. you get in here? Through the door. Huh? What do you want? You don't look like a kid. Been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I, I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. I didn't come for Ian. I mean, I didn't come for him. Sorry, Ian, your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? No shit. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. I think you're a loony. Another loss, too. It hurts. But staying here isn't the answer. Maybe I can help you. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. We're in agreement. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. I have your no letter. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Read this letter. Lucy wrote it. It'll change your mind. She... She really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. And I bet she's Please, delicious. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just going to gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Am I going to have to escort you? I'm going to have to escort you. They locked him in a room with one broken to Two broken toilets. One functional toilet. Alright. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Now is... Mr. Head Vampire gonna go all cattywampus when I tell him Ian's made the decision that he not gonna lie. Because he might just go all hoo hoo dilly in the cha cha. Hello again. Hi. Looking for your husband. That's secure for a reason. Please don't take Ian away from us. Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? What do you have for sale? Come back and see me when I'm minding the store. You better bring caps. There's no handouts to be had around here. I didn't see a store. Say it ain't so. I have to go and he's say it ain't so. All right. I'll be handsome. No, that's Alan. Oh, there you go. are. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Before I talk to the... You, what are you, you can't just prey on you when you're hungry. How did you know you understand? Okay, before I just talk with Ian, there's a matter of eerie food. As long as you maintain this level of civility, 
Please proceed. Give these people a chance. Vampires drink any kind of blood, even blood from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital wounds. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Every food donates blood packs. In return, you protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. You are my now, kind, Dingus. Ian, tell me his decision. He says you're who who did in the chat chat. It one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Are you hitting on me? Schematics. Shish kebab. All right, return to Evan King. I can do that. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Can I? Nope. Dead end. And dead end. 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 Or bad guys. You're not on the radar. I'm not stealing from this guy. He's got nothing as almost nothing as oh, he's the gate guard. Yes, I knew that. Whoa! How did I not see those things hanging there? Finally, remember to use my light. Don't want a bent tin can. I have no need for a bent tin can. What? 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 Is that a baseball pitching machine? Balls out of it. Leave the baby carriage alone. Free XP. Two XP at a time, I know, but it's still better than nothing. the mine. I am smarter than a piece of metal with gunpowder inside it. Lead pipe. Alright. With the solar powered perk, traditional point of strength and slowly regenerate health in sunlight. And it's night time. Of course it is. I don't want to do that. I want to teleport. Data. Every fool. Yes. I want to fast travel to Arifu. I want to not get stuck on the planks at the door. And I want to talk to the old man about the plan. I hope there he is, the hero of the day. Maybe not hero, negotiator. Family won't bother I you. I talked to Ian. And he told me everything you did. 
I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. <laughs> Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. All right. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family leader. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Am I playing captain back and forth? Any help you can provide? I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Vodka. That's your emergency supplies? Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Really? A bottle of vodka is your emergency supplies? <sighs> Gerbil blocks. Map. Metro station. Wait. No. There we go. If I do that, I'd have to go through the stupid Morlock tunnels again, even if there are no... Huh? Dead Chinese commando? 10 millimeter rounds. A sword. Medics and two Simpacks. Why did a body teleport into place when I... Empty... Pack of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes. I don't want to smoke them, but I can sell them. Where did the door go? I lost the door. There it is. Alrighty, doo doo doo. I don't remember turning my pit boy light off. Don't need it right now. What the? Is that a head? Oh, okay. It was the doll head from the exploding carriage. That's another exit. But I might as well go out the exit to get it on my map. is a bit annoying. Playing Mr. Messenger. When there really should be... I don't know, if the phone lines are dead, maybe walkie-talkies, or... I think I'm back, I'm leaving where I shouldn't leave. No, this is the right way. I was leaving where I shouldn't leave. Ding-dong. Creepy. How now, brown cow? I'll leave your radio on because it's not hurting anybody. But so help me if it starts playing music, I'm going to have to fire your radio. Alright, I really want to wrap this up tonight. Are you up there? up there. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Me? Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? Arifo has accepted the proposal. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, 
I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. You bite me, I will punch you. To learn our ways, you have but to ask. Do I have any blood packs? I can only offer my thanks. My people are getting accustomed to using these as a substitute for live prey. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. You better keep your well, pants on. Well, look who's back. What did you give me? Ooh, blood pack removed. Fifteen caps added. Alright. Yes, I am back. But not for long. Because it's time for me to go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. When you see me again in the next video, I will be out of these frickin' sewers. Bye bye Oh, and I almost forgot. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Remember to please like, comment, or subscribe. Or you know what? You don't have to, because I... Because the door is very loud. Because I am not the boss of you. Good night, everybody. What did I tell you about the music? What did I tell you about the music? Alright, bye-bye.